Hello folks! In this video, I'm going to compare two duplicate finders, Tidy Up and Duplicate Detective. To start, I will show you their main windows. In Tidy Up, you can either have the locations where to search automatically chosen, or you can manually select them, or drag any other location that is not automatically listed. The locations can be any folder, any mounted disk, the iPhoto, iTunes, Aperture Libraries, or the Mail Mailbox. You can assign priorities to have the software recognize in which location the originals, or the more important copies, reside. Duplicate Detective doesn't list any location, and you can only drag the folders or hard drives you want to scan. It also searches through iPhoto, but not as effectively as Tidy Up, as I'm going to show you later. Duplicate Detective gives you the option to exclude a certain location within a folder only from the Preference menu, while Tidy Up allows you to do it directly from the sources. Duplicate Detective doesn't allow you to choose the type of search, which is okay if you want to scan for all kinds of duplicates. It searches duplicates by comparing each file's hash strings. The fact that you cannot limit the search to specific kinds of files will cause a longer scanning time if you want to go through large hard drives. The only options offered are found in the Preferences menu. You can exclude file extensions and set a size limit. Tidy Up offers several different predefined searches for any kind of file, and even an advanced mode where you can build your own search to perform specific tasks. I did a little bit of research about these two pieces of software, and look specifically at what the critics had to say. Some people say that Tidy Up at first look is not very intuitive. I agree that compared to other duplicate finders, it's more elaborate, but that is just because it's more advanced. The new version 4 came out with plenty of new features that simplify the software. After a short time, you'll be able to perform any customized duplicate search you'd like. With a more simple application, such as Duplicate Detective, this is not possible. Anyway, Tidy Up is provided with a PDF user manual that explains every feature in the application and offers tech email support whenever it's needed. About Duplicate Detective, I read that the iTunes and iPhoto searches are not very powerful, so I wanted to check it out for myself. As far as iTunes is concerned, Duplicate Detective doesn't allow you to select a library you can only search in the iTunes music folder, resulting in the creation of dead tracks in the iTunes library after files are deleted. Tidy Up, instead, can search in the iTunes library and synchronize the deletions with it. In iPhoto, Duplicate Detective finds a few duplicates. Tidy Up gives you two different options, a faster one that finds as many duplicates as Duplicate Detective, a slower one that finds more, thanks to the ability of looking just at the pictures themselves, excluding the metadata. So, I guess that the complaints about Duplicate Detective were well-founded. Duplicate Detective scans for duplicate folders automatically. With Tidy Up, you are able to search exclusively for folders, selecting one of the available options. Now I will show how the two pieces of software manage found items. Duplicate Detective shows single groups of duplicates. You can choose Auto Select to have Duplicate Detective select the duplicates to delete. It will select all the oldest or all the newest items, depending on your choice in the Preferences menu. Otherwise, you will have to go through each duplicate group and manually check the items. When ready, you can move the checked files to the trash by clicking on Next. Tidy Up divides the found items into groups of duplicates, which contain all the copies found. It offers several viewing and managing options. You can show the found items the same way Duplicate Detective does, view them as a list or grid, and you can use the box system to manage the items. Show a file kind box, containing the items of a certain kind, drag the items to a manual box, or create a new smart box containing all the items that satisfy the chosen criteria. If priorities were assigned when starting the searches, the box 
items to remove will be available. The auto check button offers different ways to quickly check the items to trash. Tidy up allows you to trash the items, move or copy them to another hard drive, and substitute them with aliases. But most importantly, it allows you to restore the items back to the exact same place where they used to be, even after a reboot of the computer. I believe that a good duplicate finder should always have this feature that Duplicate Detective just doesn't have. To conclude, the two pieces of software are completely different. Duplicate Detective is okay to complete simple tasks and to perform small searches, but when it comes to thousands of duplicates, it takes too long to manage them. Tidy Up is more expensive, but definitely does the job, and it's indispensable to perform specific searches and tasks thanks to its several unique features. Thanks for watching. To find more tips and information, visit www.speedyourmacup.com.